any extra questions. I've literally done the bare basics. Even though it's five pages, <laughs> there's so much to say about the hub. We can do basically anything. It's the best instrument in the world. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, but if you do want more information, I've done more complex sheets. So just drop me an email. Percy has my email. Um, and I can send you the PDFs. For what the we could do is put it on the blog. Um, you should hopefully yeah. you've all got a sticker with the blog website. Um, and I'll go through that a little bit later today, but we can maybe yeah, put, it on there. put it on there so. for you all, just in case you want to go into extreme heart composition. <laughs> Don't know, you never know, this might change your life. It could do. Okay, so basically, we have two hands. General rule, right hand plays the top, left hand plays the bottom, right hand plays the melody, left hand plays the accompaniment. General. However, if you if you wrote the other way around, that would be very. I'd love that. Mm -hmm. Give us something different to do. We're very stuck in our classical, romantic, that sort of thing. Then nobody's really writing um, a lot of harp composition. So if you want to do it, great, grab it. There's so much market out there for harp harp composers. Um, so I'll just dive straight into it. You can also do harpists can play accompaniment with both hands, and we've got amazing fingers, so we can play melody in in with the accompaniment. So if I show you that rather than try and explain it. Oh, very low. <laughs> Pretend I'm not sitting like this. <laughs> So if you just write staccato over the top like you would in any other instrument, you get... Or otherwise you get... Yeah? Massively different. Um, so ways of playing. There's harmonics. You'll have to forgive me a little bit. I've injured myself. So back on over. Lovely. We get two on a string as well. If you want... If you want the upper one, you have to indicate it with a little arrow or an octave. So okay. do you know how harmonics work? Because it changes. So I guess? Six and seven. Yeah, so it, it's, yeah, kind of, yeah. Does anybody else? What about Shall I give um, people a clue? Yeah. Yeah. Does that help anyone? <laughs> Use people even more. <laughs> what about Ruth? You're a cellist, don't you? So you can't, have you delved into harmonics? Sort of. It's like you know, if you want to play a D harmonic, you go with D string. And then you play the harmonic up there, so it's like you don't actually touch the note, you sort of just like play it. Yeah, it's a little bit different on the hop, but it's about, yeah, you if you want a D harmonic, you go halfway on the D string. Um, so harp harmonics work slightly different, so you can have, that's an octave above, so you get the G above, octave two above, if I get this right, you'll get a fifth above. There you go. Yeah? So you can get 
three harmonics on every string. If you don't write any little arrows or any indicators, we'll presume you mean the octave above, and we'll just play the octave above. Um, so that's harmonics. We can do harmonics anywhere on the harp, as long as it's not the bottom line on your bass G stave. We can't do that because they're mecca strings. They just come out like that. You might want that, but it doesn't really sound. So that sort of thing. If you want to write a big orchestral piece, can I beg you all not to write me all the way up here because I will not be able to play any louder than that. That is as loud as I can go. It doesn't go any louder. So if you want it really loud, you're going to have to mic me up or something, so that I don't mind. Um, or have five of us, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> um, happy. Glissandi, if you want a lovely, beautiful thing, um, you want a beautiful glissando, because that's the easiest thing a harpist can do, we are brilliant at our enharmonic, our enharmonics. Yeah? So you just write what key you'd like it to be in, and your lovely harpist will do it for you. I am an F. F. So all we do is we make, we um, come up with as many notes we can that match each other in your in your chosen key, and we take all the ones out we can't do. So now I have F, G, I have A, B sharp, so I've got two C's, D, E sharp, and an F, so I'm missing out my E and my B, so, yeah? So you get a lovely sound because there's no clashy notes in there. If you just like it a normal F, it doesn't sound quite as good, but it still sounds good. So, or you can do it in a completely different key and make it sound crazy. Yeah. I've always wondered this stuff, so yes. yes. If anyone's got any questions, just stop Frank. Yes, I will talk will forever. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously it, what you do is you write an F on your music and then maybe an F there and then draw a line in between it and then you'll just... But, is that, does that just mean like yeah? Or I've, did you do two I've done a couple of examples pieces. on your sheets. What you can do is you can either start on a note and then just draw an arrow down if you, want to, if you don't want it to end anywhere. Just draw a line in the gap that you want to do. If you want me to start on a G and end on a G, yeah, I can do that, but you have to write in the two notes you want me to end on. If you just want it vaguely, just draw a line vaguely where it is. Yeah, if you want it going up and down, you Draw an arrow down, draw an arrow up, draw an arrow down. Okay? You've also got to draw the line where you want it pitch wise and for as long as you want it. <coughs> if you just draw a line, I'm going to presume you want that for the whole bar. If you want it on the first beat, draw it on the first beat and then put a rest in. Because otherwise I will do my thing for a whole bar. And that might not be specifically what you want. Now we have seven pedals. I don't know whether anybody's ever seen these. And these are accidentals, so it's all your black notes on a piano. Um, sharps, top, naturals, um, flats, at, flat, flat, flats at the top, naturals, sharps at the bottom, which allows us to do things like pedal slides. So I'm um, presuming everybody knows the Pink Panther. I use this as my traditional thing to show what a pedal slide does. I liken it to a trombone. So. say and then just draw a little arrow and write an A natural. Don't write it in a note, just write it underneath in letter form because all write pedal slide, whatever you like. Um, but write which way you want it to go because I could go sharp to flat or flat to natural and it has a very different effect. Okay, going on what you said about um, different types of music as well because I've just played Pink Panther, I've also played something very <laughs> classical. We can also do looping and stuff like that. Um, so I've got electric harp, so if you wanted to go into something like that, I might show you a YouTube video, actually. Could you find me, Pompeii, and just write Pompeii Harpist on YouTube, and you'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll show you that. Because um, you can basically do whatever you want. It's like the blank canvas, there's, so, there's jazz harpists with, because we can do all the things a piano can do. Um, I should be looking at my notes. Have I forgotten anything on my notes? 
Dumping, harmonics, <coughs> extended techniques. Okay, that's fine, we've got them. We can do anything you want. So we also do a lot of tapping. Yeah, so we've got bass taps, bass taps, fingers. All you have to do is write us a lovely little um, instruction at the beginning of your at the beginning of your um, music. I will show you what that looks like. Has anybody ever seen harp music before? No, cool.
Say you're in C sharp major, then you're going through a piece. I mean, nice, yeah, I'll keep it going, but you suddenly want to go to C flat. You've got to wait for the harpist to do this. So don't do it immediately because we won't be able to do it. So maybe just put a couple of rests. Yeah, put a couple of rests, or, rests or and maybe the cello takes an amazing, <laughs> amazing virtuosic sort of thing um, while we're sorting out our feet. Um, but otherwise, they should be okay with it. But if you've got a new harpist as well, and even if you're going from F major into A flat major, it still takes time. So bear that in mind. We can also, if, you're, if you want to do A flat and then A natural, we do have to dance. So there's only a certain, if you can't do it too quickly. So if you want, I won't be able to do that any quicker. Okay, I can practice till I'm blue in the face. I won't be able to do that any quicker. So just bear that in mind that if you want lots of accidentals, try and avoid it. <laughs> if you can, um, or make it nice so don't do lots of e, E's and then change it to E flat and then, you know, maybe have a B flat instead, change change my feet where they go. It's just not as flexible as the piano, yeah. isn't it? It's just all these things take a bit of time. They so take a little bit of time. Sort of we're, we're gorgeous on top and we're like ducks underneath mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> um, also as well, another thing to bear in mind is we can change two pedals on one side at a time. Okay, but we can't do sort of three. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do, um, I've written them down as well. If you want to do D sharp and C sharp, and then D sharp and D natural, then she is C natural. Bear in mind we have only two feet, and I can do it like this, but that means I can't do anything on the other side. Okay, so if you want, just bear that in mind the whole accidental thing. Um, yes, does anybody have any questions for me? Do you want to hear anything? Do you want to hear any techniques? That, there's a red book going round, please pass them round because that one's got amazing techniques in it. Um, David Watkins, he's another harpist. These are mainly, apart from Sansom, Handel, you know, we, it's been adapted it's by harpists. So all harpists like take the music and then change it. So please come up with some stuff because we're really struggling for new music. <laughs> so. Okay, so even in just like that first half a half a page, they've used people play the tablet, which is playing in the soundboard. We can play right down here, or we can just play bass on the string. Yeah? So all of the string changes the noise. We can also do. Yeah, we've got so many different noises we can make on the on the harp, so really. You play, this isn't my one. Help, come have a go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so just you, find out the go. Like thunder, but loads of composers use this actually. Yeah, really, that's really textural, that's really effective. Um, also, yeah, it's really kind of eerie. So there's, there's loads of stuff the heart can do. Do what you want with it, you know, have a, have, have a go. I love, I love the, one music. I don't know, the way you just go down, I love that. The, 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 what you just did and that. Yeah. Where I've drawn the first note and then the little arrow, that's setting off on certain pitches. That's between two notes. That's just play on the harp. <laughs> um, yeah. Any questions? Yes. What, what side of the pedals on? Like what? Um, what notes are on the? Left okay. Side? So I, I have written it down for you as well, just because it's hard to remember. They're not in a specific order. It goes D, C, B, E, F, G, A. I don't know why it's in that order. <laughs> but I, if you, maybe if we um, go, because you can see that it moves. Yeah, the length top of the top Can you see the little pebbles moving? You know, as the, sort of, the string gets yeah. shorter, it gets And if you want a sort of twang, because lots of composers want the sort of twang look. Sounding. Yeah. Um, but 
pushing the string a little bit so it's making it sound great. Yeah, so we can do loads of cool noises, but bear in mind that I have two feet on now, so I can only play those two notes. I can't do the rest of them because I have two feet. If you want to come and be my feet, we can do the rest of it. Um, we can also put things, I did a work with Composer, where we put things on each string, like little bits of paper, and it made the same twangy noise, So because it kind of vibrated against the paper, or carded, thick paper she used. It was really good, actually, it sounded really cool. So yeah, any questions? Do you want me to show you anything that you haven't seen, or you want to see, or? Silence in the room. <laughs> um, Alex, you've written for a harp before. Yeah. What, so what was your experience of it, or what did you? Was there anything that you particularly liked, or thought worked well, or that you uh, struggled with a bit? Or? Uh, yeah, I, I like the kind of um, range of the harp uh, because you could do uh, lots of notes at once, uh, which is quite similar to the piano, which is what I'm used to writing for. Uh, so that was nice. Um, a little bit different now, you've only got yeah, four. Actually, yeah. yeah, actual side to that, which has reminded me, we only have four fingers. We're, we don't use our little one. Um, it's, it doesn't reach, it doesn't reach, it's not, we can't use it. <laughs> we can try, but it just wouldn't work. So um, we don't use our little film. So never write more than eight notes unless you want it really, really spread because we won't be able to do it. Obviously, arpeggiated is fine, but eight notes at a time is our limit. Um, unless you have two harpers, it's again. <laughs> we could also do different spread chords. When you're playing a chord, when you're doing a chord, never do it more than a tenth, really, from the bottom to the top, because our hands aren't big enough for a melody. I can sort of. So I've gone sort of fifth octave and a fifth there. So I can just about do that, but sort of stick to eleventh because that's most harp the hardest hands. I've got massive hands. I'm a tiny person, but I've got big hands. Um, but we wouldn't be able to do that straight sound right so we've got yeah so you can do big chords but make sure they're spread if you want them to spread quickly write brise above it or slowly write arpeggiated above it or just put a squiggly line I'm sure you've all seen a squiggly chord line which means spread chord um, if you don't write the squiggly line and you want it straight write in your information page chords that aren't notated because lots of harpists like the spread chords and they'll just do everything spread anyway. Um, I like straight chords so I'll do it straight but that's not <laughs> so write in exactly what you want because they will do it if you've wrote, written it in but if you haven't written it in lots of harpists will just change it because that's what we do. <laughs> Sorry I kind of interrupted you I told you I talk incessantly. Um, uh, yeah I, I like that the you can kind of um, use the bottom kind of octaves uh, and they sound very kind of powerful so um, it's very effective for kind of having big bass kind of crescendos and stuff yeah and yeah. you can use that as a we're not a delicate bass. instrument I did say at the top about the, the quiet at the top but really yeah use our bass we've got a massive bass I mean that's not quiet you know and I'm not that's not that as loud as it can go and that, that's a big sound we can that. Yeah, that's another down from there you go. That's the little note with the with the little symbol underneath went the little line. Yeah. What sort of dynamic range? Amazing, you can do whatever you like, so Yeah, I can do whatever you like. Okay, tremolos is a is a is a big one. Okay, we can practice the tremolo to get it nice and fast, but that's as fast as you're gonna get, really. Yeah, that's about it. Um, but they need to sit there and try and do that. <laughs> it's a it's a coordination thing, trying to put different things on at the same time. No, it's the bottom two notes don't have any. Uh, yes, issues. that's another thing. We've got a different harps vary the the forty seven traditional orchestral harp, the, the C and the D at the bottom. We've got forty seven strings. Forty five of them are with the mechanism. The bottom two don't have it. 
Um, so we need to tune to whatever it is. So don't, unless you've got a change of movements or you've got a big gap and you don't mind hearing your harpist tune her bottom, that was very sexist, their bottom notes <laughs> in the bottom. Um, don't, don't put them as different, just avoid them because they, they take a while to tune, they're very hard to hear, they're always out of tune. Yeah? I mean, I tuned that when I got in and it's already gone, so... Yeah? It also changes as well, it's got a very... The frequency really goes. So, they're, they're good notes if you for effect or if you're just doing... Yeah? But if you want a really long sustained note, I'd avoid those two notes. If you can. <laughs> If not, really like, we can just take it out of the room and tune it, come back. <laughs> Any others? Oh, writing with things. We're usually accompaniment. Um, or, you know, we're accompaniment with with some kind of melodicness. There's a sound song going around that it's a lot of um, accompaniment, but really he uses the harp to such a good potential. It's so difficult, that piece. It's horrible, but it's lovely. Um, I've played it two years ago and it's it's really nice to have some banter with the other instrument so if you could give us something that links in because I've bought something for us to just try and side read through later um, but it's all accompaniment and the soloist we're always accompaniment if you could give us something to link in that would be lovely as well just something to think about we are we do like our melodies we're not just Think of us a little bit like a piano, but not too much, because we came first. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else got any questions? I mean, Fran's going to be here as well. And what we'll do is we'll do a little session with Lucy, and then we'll have a break. But if, we're, if Fran and Lucy are going to be around, but maybe, yeah, at the break, be careful with your cup of tea by the heart, but go up to the heart and Fran will yeah, let you... Yeah, if you spill tea on it, wipe it off quick and don't tell me. Because, <laughs> you know, deniability. <laughs> But yeah, have a play because the best way about learning uh, to write for a new instrument is just to have a go and, and figure it out and yeah, and yeah, that's really cool. yeah. If you want to have a go on it, please just come and you know drag me away from whatever I'm doing and have a sit down um, because it's deceptive how sort of heavy and how to play it is quite hard. Like it's almost like these are these are like into double bass strings. They really are thick strings. I'm at so. Okay. <laughs> I've recently got a commission to write for a recorder orchestra, um, so I've just recently got myself a recorder. Mm. It sounds like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that's how like, I need to get into it yeah, and know how to, know to how do how it. And so, yeah. It's because those sounds, you wouldn't know a harp could make those sounds unless you've had a, had a good meet. You might come up with something I don't know how to make because um, I don't have endless days to just flick at strings. I mean, one composer generally. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it anymore, but she really got me to like grow my nails and flick at the strings. We can play with our nails as well. I bite mine, so if you need that, get a different person to do it. I, I can't resist it. It's disgusting, I know, but still. Yeah? Good? Any burning questions, just quickly? Okay, I know it's a lot to take in, but like I said, there's the sheet. And just talk to Fran and talk to us. I've written for heart. Oh, and mentors that I've written for harps. You guys, yeah, most of us. Oh, actually, one last thing. Chords. Chords are brilliant, but don't write an eight note chord and then another eight note chord in somewhere else completely different in the harp and then another, because we have to jump. It's, yeah, because yeah, you can see the colours as well. So we only have two coloured strings and that's F and C. Um, so say I'm down here doing a nice, a nice F chord. But then you want me up here. Yeah? It's hard to get there, so... You have to look more as well, not yeah. like piano, where... You no, 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 so look, it's you? very... Sight reading is a very... If it's going to be sight reading, do something simple, because we've got to look at our hands, think about feet, um, and look at the music. It's physically impossible to look... If you're playing the piano, you can kind of do this. It's physically impossible to look at music and look at the harp. That's why we're all sort of orally trained. Um, yeah, I bear that in mind. Otherwise, anything goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Fran. Yeah. Okay. So you just going to talk about the.
Hello. I know some of you guys um, play the drum, um, yeah. but she's going to go through a couple of different techniques as well. But like I say, because we know that we've got some cellists here and some people 